This is the most shocking poll question and poll result I've ever seen in my entire life. I've been doing this for a long time. And I know what you're thinking. I've never been called for one of these. Well, you're going to be part of the poll today. I want you to give me your answer to this controversial question below. First, though, where did it come from? This is from Quinnipiac. They are a legitimate, usually reputable polling outlet from Quinnipiac University, and they ask questions about everything that's going on in the news. Who was asked these questions? Well, the responses were from 1,374 adults. It was an RDD telephone survey that was conducted from March 4th to 6th, 2022. Of the people who were asked this controversial question and gave insane answers, 27% of them identified as Republican, 29 as Democrat, 33 is independent, and then the extras, 11%. Don't know, not affiliated, yada, yada, yada. Here is the polling question. An answer for me and react below, okay? I want you to answer this question because we have to spread it out to more than the people who have been asked this so far. If you were in the same position as Ukrainians are now, do you think that you would stay and fight or leave the country? In other words, if Russia attacked the United States of America, do you think you would stay in the United States of America and fight for this country? Or do you think you would turn tail and haul ass so that you didn't get caught up in the fight? Think about that question for a second. All right, think about that question, digest it. Give me your answer below. If you were in this same position, if the Russians attacked the United States of America, would you stay and fight or leave the country? Those are your two options. Here's what people said. 55% of people overall said they would stay and fight. 38 said, 38%, 38%. One out of almost every two people said that they would, or, or over one out of every three people said that they would leave the United States of America rather than stay and fight. When you break it down to parties, Republicans, uh, almost seven out of 10 said that they would stay and fight. Only one out of four said that they would leave the country. So 68% of Republicans said they would stay and fight, and 25% said they would leave the country. Democrats, what's going on, man? 40% of Democrats said they would stay and fight if Russia invaded the United States. 52% said they would leave the country. Unbelievable. Independents, 57% said they would stay and fight. Here's my independents right here. Uh, and 36% said they would leave the country. When you break it down to uh, genders, uh, men, 70% said they would stay and fight. 24% of men said they would leave the country. 40% of women said they would stay and fight. Women, 52% of you <laughs> would rather leave the United States if Russia invaded this country. College degrees really had no impact on whether or not uh, people would stay and fight. Now, this is pretty interesting, I think. The number of people who would stay and fight peaks at between 50 and 64, and uh, the number of people who would leave the country peaks at between 18 and 34. More people, 18 to 34, the people who you would need to fight this war would leave the United States if Russia invaded instead of fighting. Uh, and when you look at races, white men, 75% would stay and fight. White women, 47% would leave. White people, people overall, 57% of people would stay and fight. Here's an interesting one. Of the black people who were polled, 59% said they would leave the country. 59% of them would leave and 38% would stay and fight. Uh, and then on the Hispanic side of things, it's almost the complete opposite. Hispanics, 61% would stay and fight for the United States of America. 33% would leave the country. This is pretty wild. Military households are about 7 out of 10. 68% saying they'd stay and fight. 27% saying they would leave the country. What do you think? If you were asked this question, because you never get to be on these polls, if you were in the same position as Ukrainians now, do you think you would stay and fight or would you leave the country? Let me know your answer in the comments below. And if you want to put whether you're a Republican, Democrat, or Independent, or whatever on there as well, I'd really be interested in seeing this. It's fairly stunning to me, especially some of the numbers along party lines here with Democrats and the split between men and women, I guess you can make a little more sense of. But tell me what your thoughts are on what I think is a pretty interesting poll from Quinnipiac 
that has been released. Let me know those thoughts in the comments below. Facebook.com slash the news junkie. Hit that follow button to get videos just like this each and every day. And you can uh, support these videos right below this post. So many of you have been doing that. Thank you so much. Magnets going out soon to the video supporters. Over on youtube.com slash the news junkie, hit subscribe. Uh, I appreciate you watching as always. I'll see you in the comments and we'll talk to you again real soon.